Cornerback room is what it was at the end of last season. Jair Alexander, Eric Stokes seemingly uh, not dealing with those nagging injuries anymore after visiting a specialist at the UW campus uh, earlier this year. Uh, and elsewhere, you got Carrington Valentine, Corey Valentine, and some guys that are trying to, uh, to make a jump here in 2024. But overall, the defensive backs seem good, not great. Well, because you, you have the potential to have two stars in two of your starting four positions with Jair Alexander, who's been an All-Pro before, and Xavier McKinney, who has a lot of potential and, and seems like that can be that guy that really can unlock the, the Jeff Halfley defense. And, you know, the Packers were fortunate that the Giants, you know, were in, in the spot where they decided not to re-sign a player like Xavier McKinney so they can bring him in. And I feel really good about those two players. It seems that Jair's in a good spot now with this team, with the coaching staff. He's going to be, I think, good this upcoming season. But the problem is a lot of unknowns at the other two, you know, at the other safety position, at the other cornerback position. Yeah. And you mentioned Eric Stokes. I, I mean, is he right now? I, I really liked what Valentine brought to the table when he was in the games last season. Are we sure that Eric Stokes is... No, uh, he's, you know, going to be the starter. You know, Tausch, uh, I hate to always talk about how smart he is, but one of his phrases that I He can do it. He's not here, probably he's not listening. definitely not listening, no. Um, <laughs> maybe he's watching on YouTube. Um, one of the things he always says as a former seventh-round pick is that as a seventh-round pick, you constantly have to prove you belong in the league. As a first-round pick, you constantly have to prove that you don't before they finally move on from you. And I think in Eric Stokes' case, he has certainly had the injury issues. Now he has not gotten the fifth-year option, which was in no surprise. But they have a seventh-round guy who played pretty darn well. And they still like Corey Ballantyne as well. So Matt LaFleur was asked at the end of the minicamp whether or not it was a competition between Eric Stokes and Carrington Valentine for the other starting spot opposite Jair Alexander. And in not so many words, because he didn't want to – you know, deter the amount of improvement and growth and health that he'd seen from Eric Stokes, basically said yes, and the best guy's going to play. And so that, to me, is a wide-open competition, and your first-round status doesn't mean a whole lot at this point. Interesting. Um, yeah, I, I think it will be, to, to Gabe's point and, and to what you just said, Jason, those other two spots are going to be crucial. But you saw some really good play from an, uh, some unexpected characters a year ago, specifically at cornerback in, in Carrington Valentine, the seventh-round pick, and Corey Valentine, who each came out of nowhere and were thrown into spots due to the injuries to Jair Alexander and Eric Stokes. And Wasn't the trade of Rasul Douglas. And the trade of Rasul Douglas, which I think uh, we would all agree Goody regrets at this point. Uh, no, it got a third-round pick. Pick? Just ask him. Well, so at this point, yeah, they've got the third round pick. They made the third round pick. They've moved on, right? Like at this point, yeah. Would he? Would he have been nice to have against San Francisco last year and all the weapons yeah. that they had? Would have been nice. Yeah, would have been nice. Uh, Carrington Valentine is is the name that intrigues me. Was it a fluke? Was it a flash in the pan? Or is this a guy that can be a long term starter for the Packers down the road? That is the question that has to be asked about him because we've seen seventh-round picks who have had an impact right away. Obviously, we have Tausch as the prime example, right? But there's been plenty of others, Adam Timmerman. Uh, Donald Driver wasn't a first-round pick or wasn't a seventh-round pick who played right away but emerged into a right. really good player. So whether or not Carrington Valentine can parlay what he did last season into playing at that level again is the question because if he can, then Eric Stokes is probably going to be traded during training camp, and they will probably acquire. Wow! Wouldn't you, th wouldn't you think? Wouldn't you think? Wouldn't you think? Yeah. Because if he's not going to start for you, and you like Ballantyne, you like uh, well, what kind of return King could that you, you even get for him? And you, and you, I mean, obviously you have your your slot corner. I mean, you feel comfortable and with Keyshawn, Keyshawn Nixon, right? In in that that spot. So yeah, I wouldn't be shocked if if that if that's. I'm not the route. saying that they're definitely going to do that, but I'm saying if if Carrington Valentine wins that job. There are going to be teams that are going to be interested in a former first-round pick that Even they with all might the injuries? be. If he's healthy all throughout training camp, conditional six. I mean, I'm not saying you're getting high value back, sure. but and I'm not advocating for trading him. So when we chop this up, let's not make that into a soundbite. Jason <laughs> says that they're going to yeah. trade. Uh, that's what I heard. Uh, I already Eric tweeted Stokes. It. Not just uh, they're going to. Jason advocating that they should. Right. So <laughs> I, I would just say this. I think that this is a really critical training camp for him, and if he does not win the job. I do think that they will probably explore some other options. Interesting. Is, 
Is that the battle? Is that the most intriguing battle heading into training camp? Ooh. The cornerback? Yes, only uh, because I don't think the safety competition opposite Le X left tackle is. Again, I think we kind of when we talked about that in the first hour or so, you know, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> If they're in any rush to start Jordan Mark. <laughs> Jason just really, really wanted just... to point out the people watching he's doing. Well, I, I, again. We just had a fourth when, member when of the When you come down there, to yeah. Summerfest, if I could give you a, a, a little bit of advice, and everyone approaches Summerfest differently. Some of us, they're a little heavier set. We like to eat our way around the grounds. Okay? Don't necessarily drink your way around the grounds, but if that's, that's what your I do. thing, if that's what you enjoy, just listen to the podcast of us some other time. Don't come up and try and contribute to it. I don't want that. <laughs> and you got a beer in your hand. You've obviously had more than a few. I don't. I'm, I'm not looking for your input. Okay. Uh, when I said I tweeted, she said, "No, you didn't. I, you didn't pick up your phone." Yeah, uh, it was a joke. Thank you, though. Thank you. So for anyway, this is why I do my show um, in my basement. But, yeah, no but to to the point we're making here, which I think is important. I think there are three. Clear competitions and beyond Tausch kicker. And is the squirrel guy. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Dude, right. How am I supposed to ignore a drunk woman who is right here, and I am trying to make a point? You were doing, sorry. You were doing a pretty good job. Uh, I wouldn't say I was. It wasn't until she walked away that you pointed it out. Uh, That's because I kept checking on the side of my eye if she'd left or not, because I didn't want to make eye contact. Oh, yeah. Man. That's All right. the beauty of sunglasses, by the way. Uh, it's the beauty of Summerfest. We're thankful for everyone who enjoys our shows. Uh, even if they've had one too many. But I think there are three competitions beyond kicker. I think there's left tackle. I think there's that cornerback job we just talked about. And I think it's the safety spot next to Xavier McKinney. But if Javon Buller doesn't win that job over Evan Williams and Katan Oladipa, oh, Oladipo. O Oladapo. Oladapo. See, I always get him confused Victor, with Victor, Victor Oladipo. 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 And then if they have Rashid Wallace at uh, left <laughs> tackle. Then, yeah, right, you know, right, right. And then Xavier uh, McDaniel at yeah, safety. Yeah. These are all the problems that I have. Brandon Jacobs at running back. There's another one. Yeah, these are all the pitfalls.